Hey, this is Mass X with new Bleach Immortal Soul video, and you're probably wondering why does he have Bleach Brave Souls up on the screen? Well, before I get into my next video, I thought I would show you guys our summer event compared to their summer event. So I just went to their Twitter, and this is what they're getting for their summer event. As you can see, plenty of stuff to say the least, and probably a little better than Kira and a lot of people's opinions. But I thought I would just share that with you to just reaffirm where we are at versus where. Brave Souls is. Hmm, just make everybody think about it for a second before we start this video. I'm scrolling through it quickly just because there is a lot to unpack here. And yeah. Alright, let's get to what this video is going to be about. But just thought I would just make everybody feel that much worse with what we got versus what they got. And there's what we got. One character from an image from an older game being reused. But that's okay, right? So, before we go any further, I wanted to do two things. One is I wanted to go ahead and give you the stats for the five-star Kira and the six-star Kira, as well as go through the war souls that are available and what they offer you, because quite honestly, I don't really think it's a big deep dive for these. For most people, it's not necessary, in my opinion at least. But let's first go through his stats real quickly, because what I'm trying to do is condense these videos now. You're getting kind of inundated with a lot of people putting videos out. So I'm just going to give you the stats for here. I'm really happy with Kira. Instead of continually putting out um, testing video of Kira, I am just going to go ahead and come up with the team I think is going to be, or the, I should say, theory to use him and feature that next, probably in a day or two when things calm down. We all know at this point, Kira's good, he's solid. Uh, most people should be able to get him, so it's really a no-brainer. But let's go ahead and take a look here really quickly, okay? So at uh, five stars, he's clocking in at 267.617. Now, if you remember how I set him up, I did it a little differently. I just threw all my resources at him. I haven't changed anything, okay? Except for that and of course the skill set. So that's it. You know, I'd already maxed out, you know, m most of his things that I could as you saw in the prior video. So not a big deal. The point was to just see where he's coming in at. So at 5 stars, that's a really respectable figure, no doubt about that. So at six, um, six stars, he clocks in at 277, 296. Um, nothing really changed except for, of course, that you get that last damage reduction skill. And so I went ahead and <clears throat> leveled that up, of course. But that's it. Nothing else has changed with him at this point in time. So you, there you go. You got a good grasp. You know, it, it really goes like this to me. Um, it's all about the skills. So... Best case scenario is you get him to four stars. And after that, the next best case scenario is if you find you need some more damage, go up one. If you think you need more damage reduction with him, go up two. But honestly, I see most people playing this character at four stars for quite some time. I showed you he was durable. Not an issue at all, as long as you kind of tank him up a bit with his War Soul. Like I showed you guys, I was just using a War Soul of Courage. I had no Volatile War Soul on him, so it really didn't make a difference. It's really all about his skill set. It's about what he can do with that Soaked and the reduction of healing received rate. That is just crazy. It works really well. I've been having fun with it. I've been pulling some characters out that I really want to work with a team that is going to just really just shut down all healing on your opponent's side of the field. And that's what I'm going to feature next with you guys. 
But with all this talk of Kira, because he's the only character that came out, there were some morsels. So let's talk about those real quickly. And is it even worth your time, effort, or money? So the first one we got is the character war soul, the summer holiday war soul. So if you get him, then you're going to have access to it. That's it. And what it does is, is it increases your attack by 1500 plus 12%. Again, um, this does not have any, as you can see, um, you know, attack skill or defense um, boost for it. Uh, so this is your base leveled up war soul. Rage attacks reduce the crit resistance chance of targets by 15% for one round. So, is this a stellar Warsoul? No. Is it nice to have more of these Warsouls available to you? Heck yeah, because they're so limited. Even through two plus years, the pool of these is not that large, comparatively. So... If you get the character, you'll have access to it. At some point, if you think it's going to be useful to you, great. Don't waste your shards, though, on this. You're probably better off building Kira than you are doing anything with this Warsaw, at least out of the gate. Next up, we have the Warsaw of Swimming Pants. When it is fully leveled up, as you can see, it increases the damage rate of all allies by 5%. If, in this particular case, I have the specialty activated, you get an extra 1.25%, similar to all the other ones that we have. So, damage rate's always nice. If you can get your grubby little hands on this, I would recommend it, just because it is a damage rate. Is it a necessity? Absolutely not. Don't worry about it. Don't even think. take a second thought on it. Next, we have the War Soul Aboard. This one has no specialty on it yet. I haven't reforged it. So you're just getting the base stats similarly to the other one I spoke about earlier. And with this one, it increases the attack by 1500 plus 12%. Rage attacks reduce the defense of targets by 20% and have a 50% chance of increasing rage attack damage by 10%. These effects disappear when the rage attack has finished. Now, this is an interesting War Soul because it's all based around range atta rage attacks. I don't know if I like that, quite honestly. Uh, I'd rather have something that's gonna be consistent across the board, so no pun intended. So I just think there's better options out there. So do I call this one you even worry or think about? No, if you happen to get it, great. If you need something like this, great. Do you go out of your way to get this? Hell no. Let's go on to the next one. The last one we got is the War Soul of Swimming Goggles. Increases HP by 15750 plus 12%. Whenever the character is damaged by a rage attack, they gain 25% increased block chance. This effect disappears when the rage attack is finished. Again, nice War Soul. It's focused around rage attacks. We have that theme now. But do you want something like that? Or do you want something that is going to have more all-around protection. Personally, to me, I lean into the latter, but, you know, I'll test it out. But is this one you're going to stress about? No. So you're kind of seeing now, after looking at all four Warsaws, do we even worry about them? Eh, no. No reason to. If you got your Kira, your character Warsaws taken care of, if you can get the damage, re damage rate increase one, of course, that's nice. It's nothing special, but it's always nice to increase your damage rate. The other two, eh, eh, could be good, but is it going to be game-changing? Is it going to make a difference in your life in this game? Hell no, it's not. Don't worry about it. Don't waste your time. Save your resources, especially if you're a free-to-play player. So that's about it for this. Didn't mean to start it off with making everybody depressed about what Brave Souls has and what we have. But I thought it was pretty funny, though, when I saw the advertisements popping up on my Twitter feed versus what, were, what the, the advertisements that were popping up from Bleach Immortal Soul. But I guess the moral of the story here on this summer event is really going to be get your hands on Kara. It's not going to be that difficult. That's it. Don't worry about anything else. Save your resources. Save your money. Save your time. Let me be wasteful. 
Hopefully something will change. If not, at least you can look yourself in the mirror and say, I didn't bother doing any of this crap. With that, once I get my little team together and do some t cool specific testing on um, a heel control team that I believe can be really effective now as a whole, kind of like a rage control team or a rage reduction team, I'll get that out to you. I just don't want to flood you any further. So please, as always, like and subscribe. If you live in the United States, have a wonderful and safe July 4th. If you don't, be thankful. Fireworks get annoying after a while, especially when you have as many pets as I do. Have a great day. Take care.